tight aerial photography. I'm going to talk about the kites, the equipment, and I'll show you some photographs that I've taken from the kite. And the first kite is a Flowform Molar 24. It's made of ripstop nylon. It's very strong, and it's known as a soft kite, which basically it has no spars or strengtheners. You just hold it up into the wind, it inflates, and away it goes. There's another flow form molar, which is smaller. Uh, the next one is a fledge, which is lighter, and it has spars, but it has a good pull. The bottom kite is a depero, which is for low, for low winds, and it has a good pull, and it'll take the, the camera up, no problems. This is the kite reel. The, um, the line is called Dacron. It's made of polyester, and it has a two-pound breaking strain. This is the, um, the rig, which holds the camera, and it's controlled by three servos, which is from the ground level via transmitter. And I'll just show you the, that's the, the pan servo, the, the tilt servo, and the shutter servo. And there's the receiver from the ground. This is a lightweight uh, rig, and it's controlled by a microprocessor, which controls the, uh, the camera automatically. It's, um, it'll take four photographs at different angles. It'll come back to its original position, and then rotate, and then start again. This is a Brunswick lock. Uh, the the uh, maritime, um, the Liverpool uh, Marina, Pierhead, uh, Higson's Brewery, the Anglican Cathedral, the Metropolitan Cathedral, and there we have the Naval uh, Headquarters. This is Crosby, um, that's Crosby Marina, Seaport Container Base, uh, peer head down there, and that's me down there. This is um, this is Crosby Baths, as you all know. Looks like a flying saucer. I just might add that the the permissible height for flying a kite in the UK is um, 180 foot. This is a uh, uh, High Town, that's the River Alt going out into the Liverpool Bay. And there is the, uh, oh sorry, it's gone. Uh, this is New Brighton, the lighthouse. We've got uh, Seaport Container Base on the other side of the river, Gladstone Dock. This was the 2008 Tall Ships, Parade of Tall Ships. Uh, I missed the best of it because the tide was in and the amount of people that were there, I was unable to launch the kite. This is Triada Bay in Anglesey. There's me again down there. That's lifeboat station there. Uh, that's where um, William and Kate launched uh, the new lifeboat. This, was it this year or last year? I think it was this year. This is the coast road leading into Triada Bay, Anglesey. And that there is the, we call it the Spooky House, or it's Cragia Moor, I think it's called. House on the Rocks, in Welsh, I think. Uh, this is Port Daffock, popular with uh, kayaks. Um, Hollyhead Mountain there, and Hollyhead itself is there. This is in between Kemlin Bay and uh, Wilfer Bay, uh, it's a nice area this, if you get in, in the early spring you can get all the, the gorse all yellow and this looks really nice then. This is Black Rock Sands, uh, the other side of Port Maddock which is round the, the bend there. We've got the Snowdonian mountain range in the background. This is Hive in Kent, uh, Folkestone is around the coast there. And this house here is one of the Mortello Towers uh, converted into a house. And that's it, thank you.